All right, y'all. What it do, man? What it do? What it do? What it do? Give me a good man, fry. Oh, I'm rocking with it. I'm fry good. I'm fry good. But anyways, yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video, man. It's your boy Broadway back again, man. Y'all know what time it is. Hold on, let me chew my food right quick while I'm talking, y'all. See, this what happened when the devil be trying to stop you from being great, y'all. But you can't worry about that, you feel me? You just gotta keep going, you feel me? You can't let that stop you, you dig? So we good? Hold on. Put that up some. All right, there we go. Back at it. All right, so right now I got another video getting ready to drop right now. Got like 25 minutes left and it'll be up. But right now, we finna do a mukbang. You feel me? I know I ain't did one of these in a while. You feel me? A lot of y'all like how I eat my food. Or I just be talking about some real shit. Either way, you know what I'm saying? Welcome back to another mukbang. I'm drinking some some grape type juice from Five Guys. So, as you guys can tell by the title, this is a Five Guys mukbang. So, what I end up getting, I got a red fry. I got so many fries in the bag. Hey, they really hooked your boy up. I really did. But, I bet y'all didn't know. That I just paid twenty dollars for this. I just paid twenty dollars for this. The entire meal, bro. Not just the fries. Come on, man. You think I look like the type of dude that pay twenty dollars for some fries? Maybe. Nah, I'm just playing. And I got a fat, juicy bacon cheeseburger with lettuce, onion, pickles, ketchup, and mustard, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Let me get that thumbnail white right quick. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I got two. Oh, it's a double. That's why. Oh, okay. Say no more. But yeah, man. Let me get that thumbnail white right quick. Oh. Y'all know what time it is, so yeah, man. I'm gonna munch on these fries in the bag right quick before I touch the joints in my cup. But how y'all been, bro? Talk to me, how y'all been? Y'all been doing all right? I know I've been doing good. I'm blessed, bro. For real. Blessed. If you watching this video right now and you still watching and you ain't skipped and you ain't went past this, go down below in the comments and put you blessed. And I'm talking about you, bro. So put I'm blessed. But if you new to my channel and this your very first time watching me, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. You know? A nigga trying to pay these bills. You know what I mean? A nigga living in LA. Expensive LA. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. By the time you get to the end of this video, I know you're going to like it. Yeah, I know. But, yeah, man. So what I want to talk to y'all today about. Hmm. Let's talk about how good these fries is. Do y'all eat y'all fries with ketchup or without ketchup? Me personally, 
It don't matter. Sometimes I feel like putting ketchup on my fries, but it really don't matter. Folks be like, everybody that know me, that know me, know me, that be around me when I eat, or even just y'all watching me right now on y'all TV, phone, computer, whatever. I eat fast, bro. I just do. It is currently time. It's six fifteen over here. So it's probably like eight where y'all at. But I'm gonna let me talk to y'all about why I moved out here. A lot of y'all need to know a little bit more about me and my story. So It all started 12th grade year. And I had never failed no year in school but my 12th grade year. All because they end up changing some rules, adding some new rules about grades and you gotta if you fail either semester you fail the whole year it don't matter if you pass one and fail the other so because i failed one semester i end up failing the whole year bullshit but it did what it did bro it may be who i am today so I end up going to a vocational school, getting my diploma. Pass with flying colors. I was top three with the best GPA in that joint. End up going to college. College was slow as hell. I went to Arkansas Baptist and Little Rock. That shit garbage. I made the best of what I did though, or what I did have, but that shit was garbage, trash. Dropped out that jump. Well, I ain't well, yeah, I dropped out because I finished the year. I mean, I finished the semester, but I didn't go back the next semester. So that must mean I dropped out, right? Oh, so yeah, I dropped out. But one thing about it, bro, I'm not dumb, and I never was. I just hated school. You know what I mean? Like, for me, I just felt like school wasn't for me. Like, I just didn't understand it. Like, I knew the basic common things, but after that, all that extra shit, I just didn't care for. You know? And... Eventually, I ended up going back to college to try it again. And I went to Southwest Tennessee Community College in Memphis. Ooh, this look good. And I probably did another semester in it and dropped out the next. I just didn't like school. I didn't like homework. I ain't like none of that shit, bro. I didn't like none of that, like. Who the fuck like doing work, homework? You know? Who, who the hell like doing extra shit? I know I don't, you know what I mean? So. That's when I just realized at that point, bro, school not for your boy, so I'm done with this shit. I'm done trying. 
I gave it another shot after another shot when I did feel like just leaving it alone and it just wasn't for me. So I left school alone. So when I had made that decision, I realized I had to do something else, you know what I'm saying? And that was really gonna be to follow my dreams and go after my goals and what I really want to be in life. So I chose to do that. I, 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 man, I've always had the vision to do it, but I had to come up with a plan, you know what I'm saying? So eventually, you know, as time went on, I started to come up with a little plan. But then I went through a real dark time in my life in like 2014. And, mm, that's good. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. But, I was real depressed. I was real sad. I was just in a real down. I think that was probably the roughest year I ever been through. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was at the lowest of my lowest, like, suicidal thoughts at one point in time, you know what I mean? So it was just like, it was, I was going through a lot. And we all do, you know what I mean? And sometimes we are afraid to speak on it because we don't want people to call us crazy. But what you what you thinking right now, just watching that you might feel like you don't want to go through it, you not. You not, you know what I mean? Everybody go through mental, uh, problems you know what i mean and issues and things of that nature so don't think you're the only one so don't be afraid to speak up if you need to you feel me? you always welcome to join my comments and you know because everybody that's on my channel bro we believers bro you feel me we go after our dreams and our goals bro we spread positivity you feel me that's what we do over here you feel me so don't come over here with no lame negative ass shit because we don't rock like that and so then once I made it through that stage and I, I, I God got me through that, you know what I mean? Like, and you know, it's so crazy because when you down like that and depressed like that, can't nobody really help you. But God, you know what I'm saying? Can't nobody else help you. You know what I mean? You and God got to get through that. You feel me? So, I made it through that. Then I end up moving to LA, where I'm at right now, in 2015, because I was like, man, I need a fresh start. I need something new. This is where I want to be at. You know what I mean? And I end up making that move. But when I first made this move, I was not really prepared. And I really went off my faith again. And even though it didn't really work, it worked at the same time. Because I still needed to come out here to see what it was like. So I knew eventually I was going to come back out here. You know what I mean? But I didn't realize that until I got back home, though. So keep that in mind. So... When I knew I had to leave because I wasn't prepared, I was not happy about that shit. You know what I'm saying? I was real sad and shit. I was like, damn, I gotta leave LA, bro. This is what I wanna be. Ooh, ooh. You feel me? So. No. I moved out here with $800 the first time. Like I said, I was not prepared. You know what I mean? But my faith of me still taking that leap and that jump showed God that I still believe in him that and I will do it again. You know? That was to let him know that I would even though I was afraid, I still did it. With eight hundred dollars I moved two thousand miles away. I'm from Memphis, bro. A lot of people ain't doing it. They not leaving their families and friends and this, that, and the third, and making them sacrifice like that. But then again, it's a lot of people that do. And them people are the chosen true people, man. You know what I'm saying? Believe in them, trust in them. If you got a friend, cousin, family member, whatever, homie, boss, employee, whatever, coworker, whatever, this, this, man. Like that, you better, man. 
you better learn from them and continue to grow with them and keep them around. Don't leech on them. You gotta grow too, bring something to the table. So, then, I had to come back home. So now I'm back home in Memphis. I was only in LA for probably two months. Yeah, probably two months. But I was struggling hard. Hard. No cap, bro. Struggling hard. So I knew if I came back out here, I did not want to go through that again. So, I'm back home. And I'm like, all right, so now that you're back home, what you gonna do now? You know what I mean? So now I'm like, man, shit. I'm finna go back to LA. Give me six months. If I ain't out in six months, a year at the most. If I ain't out in that time, bro, then I'm just stuck here. Man, that time flew fast as a motherfucker. Man, I was stuck in the M like a motherfucker. You hear me? What? Come on. Oh, I'm like, damn, fuck it. Must ain't meant right now. Catch what I just said. It must ain't meant right now. Understand that anytime you try something just cause it don't work, then don't mean, don't mean that it ain't gonna work. It just ain't the right time, dog. God showed me that. So, I started my music career up. I was not rapping, singing, doing none of that at first. And I did choir and shit in high school and middle school, but you know, that's that. But actually recording music and shit like that and going to the studio and shit, I wasn't doing it. So I started doing that. And I was like, I'm gonna start this up then. So, as time went on, I'm just preparing myself. I'm knowing eventually I'm gonna have another opportunity to go back out there. I know eventually my time gonna come. You know what I mean? I'm sitting back, I'm being patient, but I'm still working. I, I didn't stop working because it didn't work. I just kept working. So yeah, you just gotta keep going, bro. Just keep going, dog. It ain't time right now. Your time coming, nigga. Your time coming, bro. Just keep working. Niggas quit right before they time coming, bro. You got to hold on, my nigga. With everything you got, you gotta know that whatever you. No God promised you whatever you waiting for, waiting to be blessed for, it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth the wait, bro. Everything that's happened for me these last two weeks, bro, has been worth the wait already. And it's just the beginning. And I've been waiting on this for 10 years. I thought I would have been on a long time ago. Long time ago. But I kept working because I knew eventually my time would come. So now we passed that part. You feel me? I had to get that little little speech out there to y'all. Because some of y'all niggas be giving up, man, way too early, bro. Some of you ladies out there, too. Y'all got to understand, man. Y'all tired of coming, bro. Just stay down. But keep working. Don't start working because it don't look so promising. It's a test. How bad you want it. You know what I mean? How bad you really want what you say you want. What you willing to do for it? You see, if God told you to wait 10 years and he, if he told you to wait 10 years, wait 10 years. You might not want to, but how bad you want it? If you know, it come, if you know it's gonna come in 10 years, why not? But anyway, so yeah, check this out. So now,
my music career is starting to, you know, I'm doing my thing, I'm recording. I, granted, you know, everybody start from where they start. And for me, to be honest, my very first song, y'all can check it out on my SoundCloud if you follow me on SoundCloud. Go follow me on SoundCloud. But yeah, so it's on there. Y'all can check it out. And to be honest, it wasn't that bad of a first song. You know, sometimes, you know, you might have a friend, homie, partner, uh, whatever, that might do music or, you know what I'm saying, whatever. And it just ain't meant, you know what I mean? But I knew the very first time I got behind that mic and I started doing my thing on that joint. On that very first song, I knew it wasn't my best. I knew it was my first song, but I knew what I could do just by hearing myself. It's kind of like what Blueface said when he first, he wasn't even rapping like that. He was just going to the studio with his partner and them. And then one night they was just fucking around. And he was like, shit. And his partner was like, get behind that junk, just say some shit. And he got behind that junk. He said he knew from then that he was going to start rapping and shit just from hearing himself. And that's kind of like what happened to me when I did my first song. So I'm like, yeah. I think most artists be like that too. I don't know. Y'all let me know down below in the comments if I got any artists in here that uh, watch my uh, videos. So now I'm continuing working, going through these nine to five jobs, like, oh, well, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Doing that. But I'm still working on my career. You know, a lot of times my people, my uh, my loved ones, family and friends used to feel like that I was just so focused on this. You know what I'm saying? And that I didn't really focus on nothing else. And I had all my eggs in one basket. You know what I'm saying? But I just always knew what I was going to be in life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know what I'm capable of, and I know what God showed me. You know what I mean? So it's like, I know you might not see it or have seen it, but that's just for me and him. You're going to see it come out of me as I continue to become my best version. And that's what I want all of us to do. Damn, I'm out of drink or juice or whatever little grape juice but so now it's probably been three years since then so now it's like 2018 you know what I mean? so now I'm just like I right. I'm starting to see myself get better with each song that I'm doing and I'm literally being honest with myself bro you know what I'm saying and I don't got no yes man really around me like that you know what I'm saying? I don't think, honestly. You know, uh, they gonna tell me what they really honestly opinion is, you know what I'm saying? And my video just got done. So, I know y'all not gonna see this because I ain't even posted this video yet, but I'm finna upload this joint. So even when you watching this video right now, just, you probably gonna been in already seen, but if you haven't, go check this joint out too. So, now, I'm trying to figure out what's next for me. You know what I mean? Like, I see my music career starting to progress, and I'm like, all right, I want to take it to the next level. I want to take it even more serious, you know what I'm saying, than what I was. So I started to try to shoot videos and things of that nature, and I think I shot my first music video in 2018. You know what I'm saying? And then I shot my second one in 2019. So, you know... For me, I just always kept working, bro. I just never stopped, bro. I just never stopped. And I stayed down, bro. And I believed in what God promised me. And now, at this very moment, if you guys are watching me, even if you're new to this channel, you need to go back and check out my journey. I'm telling you guys, if you go back and check out my journey, you will see the grind. You will see the grind. I'm telling you. I documented this shit on purpose. Because I want to document my life. I want my life to be a legacy. I will be a superstar, bro. I am a superstar. That's why this shit happening, my nigga. And if you don't see that, then, oh well. It is what it is. Fuck you. I ain't worried about you. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, it is what it is now. Like, I'm really like that. 
for any haters out there that don't see it or don't just be slick hating, nah, I'm really like that. So yeah, now 2020 coming around. Now I knew in 20. Now I've all now I've been staying with my mama, bro. Probably since eh, since I came back from uh, California. You know what I'm saying? And that's been pretty much almost what five years. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And I'm about to be 27 this year. You know what I'm saying? And I was never just staying with my mama just to be leeching off my mama because I ain't liked it. But I knew I had a bigger dream, so it was okay with her that I stayed there long as I, you know, paid bills here and there and, you know, things of that nature and make sure everything was taken care of, blase, blase. So me staying with my mom that entire time gave me the opportunity to pay for some of the things I was able to do throughout my journey. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm thinking it's time to move on. It's time to move out. You know what I mean? Now I'm thinking like I got this music thing going on. People really liking my music, but it ain't really taking off in Memphis like I wanted to. But that's okay though. So I'm gonna just go somewhere else where I know where I wanna live at, where I know they gonna fuck with it. You know what I mean? Just cause of my vibes. You know what I mean? Like, bro, stop it. Yes. They gonna fuck with this shit out here in LA. I know it. You know what I mean? So now, I'm just sitting here trying to figure out, all right, what's the plan? I'm, all right, I gotta move. Where are you moving to? LA was not in the plan. Of my plans, excuse me. LA was not in my plans to move this year too. Not in mine. God's plan though. God's plan, not in my plans. I was planning on moving somewhere else. But God want me to be here. You know what I mean? And that's why I feel so comfortable to be able to do these things. Because I got God with me, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people ain't doing this shit by themselves. I'm telling you, this shit not easy. A lot of people can't do this shit, bro. You know what I mean? So I appreciate all the people that support me and love me because I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? And I support y'all just like y'all support me. You know what I mean? So now 2020 going on. Next thing you know, boom! Pandemic happened. Whole world shut down. Not just the U.S., the whole world shut down. What is going on in 2020? So now, all this going on, this, that, and the third. But what I learned also this year is that God can still bless you in times where everything is looking bad. This is the worst year I know I've experienced since I've been alive. And I'm pretty sure a lot of other people can vouch for this. That, you know what I'm saying, pretty much around, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, if you was back in the day, back in the day, you know, I don't know. You know what I mean? Y'all discern it if I got any, you know, respectfully elderly people that watch this, you know? Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> y'all rock with your boy Broadway, you feel me? But, yeah, like if y'all back in like slavery times and things of that nature. But anyways, let's get on. So now, I'm like, okay. God, you want me to come out here to LA? How I'm gonna do that? How I'm gonna do that? At that moment in time, bro, I had probably like, and I'm being real with y'all, I probably had like $50 in my bank account. You know what I'm saying? So, this this year now keep in mind this is this year bro <laughs> this year this year 2020 probably had like 50 dollars at that time in my account now next thing you know a blessing arrived at my doorstep you know what i'm saying not literally, you know, 
but God blessed me. You feel me? And he blessed me to the point where it blessed me with an opportunity to be able to come back out here and kick back and really get started with what I'm about to do. You know what I mean? So it's all part of his plan. I always knew I was going to be back out here. I just didn't know when. You know what I'm saying? And it's just crazy how everything been happening. It's been happening so fast, bro. So fast, you know. I was just out in LA. LA. I was just out here a few weeks ago. And now I'm out here living, for real. I was just out here visiting. Now I'm out here living. So, that's just my backstory, bro. I know this shit long, bro, but if you rocking with me, man, and you really want to know my story and just a quick little thing, you know what I mean? Then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, go back and check my other videos, bro. You know what I'm saying? I got plenty of them. You can see the journey and see where I came from. See where I started from. Like, I'm telling y'all, I ain't no overnight success, bro. I've been doing this shit. I just waited my turn, and now it's my turn. So, make sure y'all hit this like button, bro. You know what I'm saying? If y'all really fucking with me and y'all enjoyed this video, uh, go ahead and subscribe if you're new and if you haven't subscribed already because I check my analytics and a lot of y'all that do watch my videos I ain't subscribed so I'm gonna need y'all to subscribe for me appreciate that you know what I'm saying uh, I love y'all give me a kiss oh uh, yeah so um, no homo no homo no homo if it, if you a dude watching I love you bro you know what I'm saying but you know no homo no homo for, you know that was really for the ladies out there you feel me but yeah, man, I'm gonna go ahead and end this mukbang like that. I enjoy my food, as y'all can tell in this video. So yeah, if y'all wanna see more mukbangs, let me know down below in the comments. Uh, yeah, F G E in the building, man. Y'all know what time it is, man. Catch me in my next video. I'm out, man. My new bitch she lost it now. 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 My new bitch she lost.